how would you encourage uh, more involvement to to increase the power behind the message to keep women and girls safe and um, and how can people get involved in the Ramona Wilson Memorial Walk? Um, we're having our annual walk again this year. Um, we're starting at Lake Catherine School and then we're going to be walking out to Yellich Road where Ramona's body was found. Um, and then we're going to be going back to the Friendship Centre um, on 3rd Avenue in Smithers to meet together and try to, you know, show the support. But we'd like to see a big number of people coming out to show their support. Um, by doing this, we'll be able to uh, show the government and show the MPs that this is a real problem and a lot of people are concerned about it. Um, for people that are not living in our communities or that can't make it here, we just ask that you contact us and let us know that you know that you know about the stories and if you don't know what has happened on Highway 16, then we we encourage you to talk to us, um, which is myself and also my mom, who have been advocates for the Highway of Tears. And we've been um, doing awareness workshops across um, BC and mainly in the north to try to bring this awareness to um, all the people that live along the hi along Highway 16. How, how can supporters contact you and um, whether by mail or email or telephone? Um, on the posters that we have printed for, for this memorial walk, the number to contact us is 250-847-2172. Uh, and we're also on Facebook and you can contact me at brenwilson66 at hotmail.com. Any more comments about um, next Saturday's walk or either Friday the 10th of June uh, for a work bee? Um, <laughs> any, any comments about those two dates? On June 10th we're going to be setting up a work bee with uh, the Friendship Centre and we hope to have as many people come out. We're going to be doing some t-shirts and you can decorate it. Um, with any messages that you want regarding the walk and we just you know we're, we're really grateful to the organizations that have had some input like the Friendship Center and also Northern Society for Domestic Peace who have helped us organize this walk for so many years now we really appreciate their help so if you can come out on the 10th that would be great um, you can contact Mel at 847-5211 and um, then on the 11th, it would be great to see everyone out there. Um, the main message that I have regarding the walk and the reason why we do it every year is to recognize that there's still a killer out there because Ramona's um, murder has never been caught and there are still a lot of um, young girls and women that are, have gone missing their murders have not been caught either. So our communities are not safe along this highway and I think we really need to start making some noise. You know, there's so much recognition right now for the Canucks and I'd like to see that same recognition um, put on for this walk. Um, it's been the same amount of years since the Canucks have been in the playoffs and it's the same amount of years that Ramona has been, that her murderer hasn't been caught. Thank you very much.